Get it tailored, have it fitting well, you're gonna look like a thousand bucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right, men, I'm sure you are interested in knowing some things that women pay attention to when they first meet you, okay? Making a first good impression is critical. So I've come up with seven things that most women pay attention to when first meeting men. My name is Taja and on this channel, we talk about all things excellence because doing things well in life really, really matters. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel for all content just like this. Now let's get into it. Okay, number one is gonna be proper grooming. I've talked about this before. All right, what does this mean? Are you maintaining your hair, your facial hair? Do you have good smelling cologne on? Are you cleaning under your fingernails? Proper grooming is critical, not only for the woman that you wanna impress or the ones that are looking at you, you should really desire this for yourself. But most women I know are paying attention to your grooming. Do you smell good? Are you dressed appropriately, etc.? So please pay attention and prioritize grooming yourself. Okay, number two, the things women pay attention to. Are you a gentleman? Are you opening her door? Are you offering to pay for things on the first date? I'm not saying all the time, but on the first date, if you're asking her out, these things are very attractive, okay? And so you need to make sure that you are showing that you're a gentleman, being kind. I want to emphasize this does not equate to being a doormat or being used, et cetera. But being a gentleman, having proper etiquette, introductions, all that stuff really, really matters. Women pay attention to that. That is not some old fashioned situation. A lot of women are still concerned about a man being a gentleman. It's very, very important. Okay, listen to number three. This is my personal most important one. And I'm telling you, I've seen this time and time again. Women are just going to be totally impressed by this and they really pay attention to this. Having confidence. I cannot stress this enough, okay? You need to be very sure in yourself. Do, some, do all of us have insecurities? Absolutely, okay? That's not to say you're gonna have nothing that concerns you. You know, you, you're gonna have issues that you have with yourself maybe. But having confidence is knowing who you are, knowing what you bring to the table. I cannot emphasize to you enough, if you're at the dinner table or you're taking her out and you're constantly like insecure about this, insecure about that. How do I look? It is a huge, huge, huge turnoff. And I'm telling you that women are paying attention to that. Confidence reigns over everything. Like I'm telling you, I cannot stress this enough. Develop some confidence. Make sure that you have confidence. If you're not feeling that confident that day, maybe reschedule. I'm really gonna be honest with you. Especially if it's a first date, Men who come off as very insecure, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of just like, why are you taking me out if you're not secure in yourself? We're gonna have some issues there, right? So again, develop your confidence. It changes the entire game. I'm telling you, most important one. Okay, quick, important, important interruption. I just talked about confidence and some of you are saying, well, hey, Taja, I'm really not confident. Well, let's take the next step and develop your confidence. I offer confidence coaching one-on-one, -on -one, accountability, developing habits, you know, pinpointing your insecurities. I'm telling you, you need to work on this. It is critical, it's important to invest in you. So if you want confidence coaching, please go to my website at tajabarnes.com and let's change your life, okay? Confidence changes every facet of your life. Let's work together. Now, we're talking about confidence, but another facet of that is swag, okay? I don't know if people still say that, but swag is essentially just being cool, okay? This is just, I'm telling you, <laughs> men, please develop some swag, okay? I'm not saying playboyish or, or you know, shysty or slick, but I'm just saying just swag. This That is just like this effortless confidence in yourself, right? You're cool, calm, collected, you know? You just you just seem like the man with the plan. I don't know how else I can explain that, but swag is, is really something women pay attention to, all right? This is not, again, I'm not saying to be slick. I'm not saying to be like a ladies' man type of person, but swag is just kind of this effortless, I'm the man type of vibe, you know, without being arrogant. Let me be clear, not arrogant. So remember that, swag is critical. 
Next, I feel like this is not discussed as frequently, but women are going to pay attention to whether or not you have age appropriate clothing on. <laughs> what does this mean? I'm gonna just say it. If you were in your 20s wearing certain things, you probably shouldn't be wearing that in your 40s or 50s. Now, again, that does not mean that you don't wanna be up to date and things of that nature. But there are certain things that need to be retired as you continue progressing, all right? Your style and clothing needs to evolve with you. You can be older or more mature and still have, you know, trendy clothing, but again, age appropriate clothing. There is no reason you should be going out to dinner with a woman and you are wearing, you know, baggy clothing, chains, this and that. I'm just telling you, I'm just being honest, okay? Age appropriate. So if you need to, do a little inventory of your clothing or your wardrobe, and you may need to make some adjustments, but trust me, clothing is a huge thing women are paying attention to. Now, another aspect of age appropriate clothing is having a good set of suits, all right? I'm gonna just say this, this is a channel about excellence. If you are a man watching this, you absolutely need to have some suits, period. There's nothing else to it, okay? So having some great selections for suits, they don't have to be super expensive. If you wanna go that route, that's fine but just get you some nice basic quality suits so that when you have events or things you have to do, you have clothing to wear. Remember this about the suits. I need to be clear. Your suits need to be fitted, okay? You don't have to spend a ton of money to have a fitted suit, but the baggy ones, the ones that just don't fit, throw them in the trash, burn them, do whatever you need to do. I don't wanna see any more of that, okay? We need to have some fitted suits. It is critical. Find you a good tailor, do whatever you need to do. You could even have technically a cheaper or more affordable suit. You get it tailored, have it fitting well, you're gonna look like a thousand bucks. Well, maybe more like a million. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay, the next one is women are paying attention to whether or not you are able to articulate your words, all right? I have talked about this so much in some of my other videos. Articulation is key, all right? Now, I tend to over articulate just because I love to speak well, right? But you need to make sure you know how to talk. I mean, it's, it's actually as simple as that. If you're at the dinner table ordering a meal and the waiter comes and you're like, oh, can I get this? Hit? I cannot stress to you enough how this, it, just stop it, please. I, and I really need you to take this serious. Whether or not you get some coaching on how to speak more appropriately, read some books, et cetera, articulation is critical. Knowing how to speak well will set you apart from the average man, right? And it's just very attractive. Women are gonna be paying attention to when they meet you, hey, does this man know how to properly greet me? Does he know how to properly speak to other people? If someone asks him to the front of the room, say, hey, can you lead in this? Can you do that? Is he going to know how to talk? That's very, very important. And hey, I don't want you to feel bad if you don't know how to speak yet, but it needs to be a priority in your life, period. All right, number six is going to be a man with a purpose. All right, I've talked about this a ton as well. And in one of my other videos, I love to mention this. Someone asked me, Taja, why is vision or purpose so important? I wanna emphasize it does not have to be something ridiculously large. However, a man with a vision, purpose, insight, People, women are paying attention to this, all right? You are a man and ultimately you are expected to lead, especially if it's in a romantic capacity. So there needs to be some vision, there needs to be some plan, insight and execution as well. Okay, so this is the last one and some of you may be upset about it, but it's the truth. Money and possessions, I'm gonna be honest with you, most women are paying attention to that. Now let me be clear, I'm not saying you have to be a multimillionaire. However, a woman does want to know that you're taking care of things and that you have some sort of funds or financial backing, et cetera. So even if you have a minimal amount, take care of it. If you don't have the nicest car, take care of what you do have. But women are paying attention to this, all right? I know some of you may be like, oh, these gold diggers. Well, I'm just being honest with you. You know, this page is all about telling the truth and informing you about the minds and brains of women. So they're paying attention to whether or not you have some sort of financial backing or possessions. They are looking maybe at your car or things that you have, right? Now you wanna make sure she's not using you because of that. We don't want that, right? But these are things that women pay attention to. 
Okay, so you've reached the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I had a fun time making this video. If you can think of any other things that women think about or pay attention to when they first meet men, please comment them below. Always remember, my name is Taja, and we not only do things, but we do them very, very well. I'll see you guys next time.